we have to think of the new generation. We have to think of um, what's going to be next. You know, there's a past, there's a present. But what about the future? So questions are there. There are challenges uh, around us. But um, yeah, let's face them. Despite our size, Luxembourg has been on the movie-making landscape for quite a few years. Now, why is that exactly? Let's speak to one of the men who's behind the success of this sector. He's CEO of Tarantula and president of Ulpa. He is Donato Rotuno. Donato, welcome. Hi, Jim. How are you doing? Fine. Happy to be here. Now, Donato, firstly, how long have you been in the business for? Ah, um, three decades, um, nearly 30 years, yeah. So you've seen a lot of evolution during that time. Definitely, definitely. Uh, and I mean, why is it that Luxembourg has a movie making industry at all? Because we have the right people to do so. <laughs> no, of course, because there was an idea behind that and there was a, a dream behind that. I mean, what you need is always the right people at the right moment, right? So 30 years ago, there, were, there was this clan of people who dreamt about being on the, on the map of, um, of the international landscape of um, cinema. And they had this dream and that there were some people who just um, understood the dream and gave us the, uh, the tools to, to be here today. Now, I know that you've won quite a few awards, haven't you, your films that you've worked on, but you didn't make Capitani, did you? No, I didn't, but I'm very happy for Christoph, so that's fine. You don't, you don't regret missing that? No, definitely not. We need people and diversity is important, so everybody has to do what he feels the best. So in, the in your recent history, which of your films that did really well do you think, are you really proud about? Oh, that's quite difficult to, <laughs> to say. But as a producer, I'm definitely very proud about um, uh, two of us, Du, Filippo Meneghetti, where we ended up at the Golden Globes. Um, that was a couple of years ago. Or um, Todo lo que arde in Cannes, or last year Blanquita in Venice. I mean, there's a, there's a few. Uh, as a director, I would say, Justo Bene, my latest uh, feature film is uh, I'm very proud of that one, yeah. Is this a new sort of element in your career, becoming a director? No, no, it always started like that. It started actually as me being a director. And then somehow I got the virus and I liked producing other people who were even more talented, definitely more talented than I am. Um, and it's, it's really fun producing. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it is totally different from directing and it's uh, complementary. Now, how does all of this process start? You know the films. Is, do you have the idea behind some of these films that then you pitch it to the money guys? Mm. Or are you, have you got people pitching ideas to you? <coughs> Everything's possible. Um, all depending on who you meet, when you meet them, um, what kind of topic is in the air. Uh, it can be a director coming up to us. It can be a producer. Mainly it's a producer. You know, um, we know each other for a long time now. It's a small industry, basically. You know, the way we are working and functioning in Europe is, is, is quite a family clan. So people come up and say, oh, listen, you, I'm sure you're going to like this one. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you must get bored of that, actually. You're sitting on a terrace having a quiet glass of white wine and people say, hey, Donato, we should work together. Does that happen? It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of, uh, of uh, meeting people, one way of getting to the right um, um, uh, project. Um, that's why we, we have to travel. But that's why we have to be on markets. Yeah. Um, how would you say the Luxembourg sector is doing at the moment? It is doing quite well. I mean, we are successful. We had three films in Cannes this year. We, there, there might be some really good stuff coming up for Lacan and Venice. Uh, um, it's it's going to be a good year. Um, although we have the same problems that uh, everybody's facing. Uh, inflation, um, prices are raising. Um, we have to think of the new generation. We have to think of um, what's going to be next. You know? There's a past, there's a present. But what about the future? So questions are there, there are challenges uh, around us, but um, yeah, let's face them. So are you saying, would you like to see Luxembourg do more in terms of investing in our young people about becoming filmmakers in the future? Yeah, that's definitely one of, the, one of the thing that we have to think about. Not only to grow, but at least to keep what we have. I mean, we've been working really hard for 30 years. So um, everybody of us, all the producers and all the directors and the film fund, and I think all the politicians uh, realize that we cannot lose that. So what do we have to do? I mean, we have to think about it. We have to talk to people. We have to um, face the problems. Yeah. Now, I do remember you specifically. It's a decade ago, one particular movie, blah, blah, blah. I remember you in <laughs> blah, 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 <laughs> dear Jim. Yes. Yeah. Great. What are your memories of that production? Um, 
a lot of languages, lots of uh, different sounds in that, in that doc documentary. It was actually uh, three documentaries about the Grande Région, and we tried to establish or define what we call the La, la Grande Région. Uh, it worked very well, it actually went very well. Yeah. Now, of your films, uh, I know that they can sometimes get to Cannes, but there's always an issue of the financial side. Mm -hmm. Is that a big concern to you, that they've really got to make money? I mean, it is definitely part of the uh, business plan. I mean, we do not only make movies just to make movies, but the art house uh, industry is really uh, facing a, a reality, which is um, um, we cannot make a lot of movie, a lot of money with uh, art house movies, but we need art house movies for culture and for yeah, well, for our brain and for our emotions. I must say. I mean, which takes us to sort of a Netflix problem. Because so much of the big screen has moved on to the small mm -hmm. screen, has that made your job harder, do you think? Not harder, different. I mean, um, again, if there's a challenge, we have to face it. We cannot um, stop evolution. We have to understand what's going on and what's going on around us. And we are part of this evolution anyway. So grab what you can, understand what is around you, and then make the best out of, out of it, yeah. But is it part of your plan? I yeah. mean, we, I mean, I joked a little bit about Capitani, but would you also like to get a series on a small? We're screen? working on series at, at, at the moment. We are starting uh, shooting in October. Um, yeah, platforms are part of the business now. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Let's talk about the future. What kind of things have you got coming up in your schedule that you can talk about? Lo well, loads, loads of movies in post-production. Hopefully, um, good news for the next festivals coming up. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Um, and then we start the f um, a, a very nice, very strong uh, series uh, in cooperation with Portugal uh, in October. Uh, I'm actually shooting a documentary uh, as a director as well. Uh, we have two or three different movies. One's going to be shot in Georgia. Um, the other one is going to be shot in Luxembourg. Yeah. Well, busy. And for people that aren't currently involved in the movie sector, but it's their dream, perhaps they're living in Luxembourg mm -hmm. right now, um, let's say they want to be behind the camera, they want to get a role, H how can they get started? Well, there's the dream and then there's reality, right? The dream is nice and we have to keep it alive, that's for sure, but reality is that um, it is an, in an industry. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's real pure jobs. You have to learn it, you have to face reality, you have to find your place in the industry, you have to go through schools, you have to uh, meet the right people at the right moment. First thing I would say is, um, you know, inform yourself about what is going on in Luxembourg. Absolutely. Uh, Donato, it's been brilliant speaking with you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, um, Jim. I look forward to meeting you on a red carpet somewhere. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you.